In this presentation, we provide a walkthrough of the integration between the VM series firewall and Amazon Guard Duty. Threat intel findings from Amazon Guard Duty are fed into a Lambda function, which in turn creates dynamic address groups on the VM series firewall. The address groups contain the IPs of malicious sources. The address groups are then referenced in security policies, which will deny traffic from these malicious sources. What you see right now is an application running on AWS that is secured using the VM series firewall. The VM series firewall has two IP addresses. One is to access the management interface and the second is to access the protected backend web application. We will now log in to the VM series firewall and introspect the various security policies and NAT policies that are in place that provide fine-grained security to the backend web application. The security policies only allow web traffic to the backend web application. The NAT rules provide the translation necessary to access the backend web application. We will now verify access to the backend web application. We will now switch over to the Amazon Guard Duty console to take a look at the threat findings that have been detected by the AWS Guard Duty service. This particular threat finding indicates that there has been an API console login that has been initiated from a malicious IP. This threat finding has triggered the Lambda function, which has created a new security policy on the VM series firewall to reject traffic from these source IP addresses. The security policy references the dynamic address group that was created based on the guard duty finding. All traffic from IP addresses that are part of the dynamic address group will be dropped. What we see right now are the contents of the dynamic address group. The IP address that we see right now has been sourced from the guard duty threat finding. We will now demonstrate that access to the backend protected web application is rejected by the VM series firewall when accessed from a source IP that is part of the dynamic address group. What we're seeing right now are the traffic logs on the VM series firewall indicating that traffic from the source IP which matched the dynamic address group was denied. We will now demonstrate the scenario where we will either delete a rule or age out a rule which will then provide access back into the web application. So subsequently accessing the web application will give us the necessary access back.